the study of gut bacteria is becoming increasingly interesting in evaluating why people get immune system diseases. We know that everyone has a lot of bacteria in us and on us. In fact, we have more bacterial cells than we have our own cells. So that's kind of a shocking realization. Uh, we have probably three or four pounds worth of bacteria on and in us, in fact. What we have tried to evaluate is what is the relationship between the bacteria that are in us normally and our immune system and how does this relationship lead to a tendency to develop disease or how might changing the bacteria in the gut lead to reducing the manifestations of diseases, especially autoimmune diseases. And so the thinking is that some approach like that, that modulates or changes the arrangement of our gut bacteria might also have some influence on disease expression in human disease too. This is really relevant to many different autoimmune diseases. Any autoimmune disease that's associated with inflammation where inflammatory cells and inflammatory proteins are active could be affected by this type of approach. And that includes very many different kinds of autoimmune diseases. Rheumatic diseases like rheumatoid arthritis or spondyloarthritis or lupus, but maybe other forms of autoimmune diseases as well that occur in other organs such as in the thyroid or in the nervous system and elsewhere. This is a hot area of research now and so there's an increasing amount of research that's being done here at Mayo and elsewhere too.